Hi, this is Jamie with Useful Knowledge. Today we're going to make barbecue sauce. This is a sweet, smoky southern barbecue sauce. It's got a lot of ingredients, so pay close attention, but it really makes some great barbecue sauce, and it's completely from scratch. So we hope you enjoy our video. So the nice thing about this recipe is that you can just pile all the ingredients in, whisk them together, heat it up, let it simmer for a few minutes, and you're good to go. We're going to let this, once it gets up to where it's kind of slow boiling, we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes, just so it'll get really good and hot before we can it. So we're going to put our brown sugar in. We'll go ahead and put our water and our apple juice, or you can use apple cider. Put in our tomato paste. Liquid smoke, pepper, salt, red wine vinegar, Smoked paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder. Then all you do is whisk this up, whisk it up together. Once you get it all whisked together, you want to heat it up on medium high, and it's going to take it about 10 minutes to get to where it's starting to simmer. Okay, before you get started, go ahead and place your mason jars on a cookie sheet and put them in the oven at 250 degrees. This is going to get your jars to a proper temperature for canning the barbecue sauce later. Okay, we're going to can this barbecue sauce just like we can jams or jellies. So what you want to do is you want to heat your lids up and it's not a boiling heat you just want to get that water kind of warm. This is one of my lowest eyes and I usually keep it on a round low just to make sure that uh, these lids are warm but not boiling. So we're going to put the lids in and I always put one extra in just in case something happens and uh, I do need an extra lid that's warm. So those are going to warm up we'll be ready for canning. So our barbecue sauce is starting to warm up. You can see some smoke starting to come off of it. So just keep stirring and just make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom because this is, uh, like I said, this is already thick sauce. And you don't have to stir it constantly, just um, every, every couple minutes or so you want to stir it. Okay, so this has been simmering about five minutes and it's it's really gotten hot, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn it down just a little bit. So just uh, just make a note if it gets to the point where it's almost a, it looks like it's going into a rolling boil that you can't stir it and uh, keep it from boiling. You might want to turn it down just a little. All stoves are different, so just uh, keep an eye on your your sauce as it heats up. So we have about five minutes to go here. Okay, so this has been simmering about 10 minutes, and it's ready to can. So we're going to go ahead and turn it off. We're going to get our jars out of the oven. They're at 250 degrees. This is well over 200, and our lids over there are around 180. So we're going to put all this together, and we're going to have canned barbecue sauce. Okay, so we're going to can these jars up. I've got one extra jar left in the oven in case this actually makes a little bit more than five but it's always made five for me but I always keep one extra in case I have a, 
a jar that comes out cracked or, or something. So, I'm gonna take your canning funnel. I'm gonna keep this mixed up. We're just gonna place the hot barbecue sauce in the hot jar. And you want to bring it to the bottom of the canning funnel. So we ended up with four and a half jars of barbecue sauce. You want to take a wet paper towel and you want to wipe the very top part of this jar, this lid of this jar, you want to wipe it clean just to make sure there's no barbecue sauce on it. What's really cool about this, you can eat some now, as soon as this cools down. You really don't even have to seal this if you don't want to. You can just let it cool down and just put it in your refrigerator and it'll be ready to eat in the morning. The rest of these can go in your pantry. We're going to take our hot lids, we're going to dry them off, we're going to dry our hot lids off with a paper towel, we're going to place them on the jar. So then you just want to put your band on. And you want to tighten them up. and turn them over. So tighten each one of these up and turn it over. And they will be very hot. And this this little eight ounce jar, you can, you can actually go ahead and seal it or you can use a smaller jelly jar. I usually just go ahead and put that in the refrigerator and eat it in the morning or the next day. Okay, after five minutes, you just turn them over. And so these things are super hot right now. But we're going to have four to go in the pantry. We're going to have one go in the refrigerator. And I'm going to try to get some footage of these sealing. But that's how you make sweet, smoky, southern barbecue sauce from scratch. Thanks for watching. There goes another one sealing. We've got three sealed so far. This oven method of canning really works and it works well.